Welcome back to Midwest Magnum. I'm Kurt. We're out at the range again today. We're going to try out the new Beretta APX A1 FS. Super excited to try out this gun. It, it just feels so solid in your hands. That feels solid. I sure like it so far. Let's see how she shoots. Hmm. I like it. As you can see, this isn't a standard target. It's an 18 by 24 not a 24 by 36. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they are awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. The APX A1 takes the proven ergonomics and reliability of the APX family to the next level with integrated features derived from feedback from military, law enforcement, and tactical shooters. It aims for the highest levels of performance, safety, and quality to operate for any shooter in the field. Breda passed every stringent test of the U.S. Army MHS program with its APX pistol candidate and is used by professionals on the ground in more than 20 countries. If you want form, function, and fortitude, the Breda APX A1 is for you. The Breda APX A1 full-size semi-automatic has a barrel length of 4.25 inches and an overall length of 7.5 inches. Its height is 5.6 inches with an overall width of 1.3 inches. It only weighs 29 ounces and has a capacity of 17 plus 1. Our scoring system consists of three components, construct, performance, and maintenance each having three additional subcomponents with each of these subcomponents evaluated at 33.3%. The scores are then tallied up and divided by three for an overall rating. Midwest Magnum considers any score above 85% to be a quality firearm. As you can see, the Beretta APX A1 scored a 96% with an overall A rating. We're doing a review today of the Beretta APX A1 full size. It's an awesome gun. You can see it's not loaded. Um, sorry for that. We're at the range and we've got a guy shooting an elephant gun over the here. Sound of freedom. Yeah. This is a fantastic gun. Uh, I love everything about I, it. I like that gun. Trigger feels amazing. It's just a, it feels a good, solid gun. Ergonomically, it's great. I mean, there's a reason that Beretta's been doing this for centuries. Yeah, Beretta has a clue. I was a huge Beretta fanboy way back in the day. Once I saw Die Hard, which is a Christmas movie, by the way. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I needed Berettas and Styers, and eh, I, I went through my huge Beretta phase through the 90s. I, I got a lot. And I've been keeping my eye on the Beretta. Came across an amazing deal. Um, guy, It was a used gun, but the guy told you know gave me the confidence and gave me a warranty. So I took a shot, and I'm, I'm so glad I did. That, that, that was only used in that it left the store. Yeah. Once once the original purchaser got it home, Mama found out and Mama made him take it back. Yep. That's what happened with that gun. And, and he, he scored. He showed me on the computer because otherwise I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not so you sure scored. I believe that. You scored. And Somebody it was, lost out there. Yeah, this is just, I, I'm, I'm going to say right now, this is probably my favorite gun. Uh, I mean, if not, it's, it's a tie. It's, it's nice. I like it. It's a tie with the 19X, and uh, it's pretty, the Stoger's pr still yeah, pretty we, close we, there. So We still like our Stoger, but. Uh, I'm just showing you the differences here. This is the Stoger to the APX1, A1, um, Glock 19X. I mean, these are all almost identical in size. Um, we got the SAR 9, 
again, almost identical. So the SAR 9 is coming along too. Yep. Uh, but that is improving, but the trigger is still always going to be a SAR 9 trigger. Yep. But that Beretta's trigger is fantastic. Yeah. Mine came with three mags. So um, I think they standard come with two. I don't know why that's sticking in my head, but 17 round mags. The ergonomics, I know I normally say the ergonomics don't, don't look at those. That gun feels really nice in the hand. Yeah. If, if you can, if it makes you shoot better, that's great. That gun drives my hands up way high, which I love that you want to be as high as you can on that gun. And it really helps. And that trigger is fantastic. Yep. The only thing I would do to that gun is either a change out the sights or B go to an optic. Yep. So like Daryl was talking, the mag, but you, I mean, it really forces you up high on the gun. Yep. Um, he was also saying again, empty that if you can see there, there are no dots on the site, yeah. the rear site. So it is a little it's, hard it's to a little tough to pick up. It, it took us probably, well, we, we've been out for what? Three days, multiple, three multiple days, times. three, four days, multiple times with this one. And it probably took us until one, like the last day to really figure out a system for that, especially me with my bad eyesight. You seem to pick it up on day yeah, one. And then day two and the three, we kind of were off, it's, but then you were right back on four. It's just one of those guns that I would, I would swap it out to either night sights or I would put an optic on that yep. one. That would kind of already being set up for an optic for you yep. is just crying out to put a decent optic on that one. Yeah. It's optic ready. So the plate just comes it's, off. It's stupid reliable. It's Beretta. Yeah. It's just crazy. Reliable. It's, it's unreal. We put each put through a hundred brass, a hundred steel, not a single malfunction. Nope, that's In fine. fact, I, I'd be 400 willing, rounds we did no i'd be willing to say we went over that because we did the fourth day and we do 50 oh, a day that's true so I, right. i'll bet you we put over right. easily over 200 maybe 300 a total like 150 yeah, and, i know brass i know and, we shot a lot the last few days it's been fun yeah i love holiday weekends oh yeah <laughs> and then you can see the reset is absolutely fantastic barely right there and boom right back yeah. it's a nice trigger and it's a very light trigger um, sturdy. There's no creak to it. No, it it's it's it, it's a the just wall a is gun. solid. When when you can tell exactly where that shot's going to break every yep. time. Yep. And as far as you know, more rapid fire doubles and triples. Once you get adapted to that, and it doesn't take very long. You know, yep. I was shooting it. I love that gun. I really do. That's that's one of the few guns we tend to do a lot of guns. I like some. I kind of don't like some, but I really like that one. Yeah. Great Greta gun. builds good stuff. And ambidextrous, you can flip that mag release around and uh, for lefties. Uh, I mean, just a all around a fantastic gun. I yeah. couldn't believe how, how much I like yeah. this. From I'm day surprised one. it's not getting the uh, like like the screen time that some of the other guns are getting. I've, I've noticed too. kind of doing some searches on that gun, and it's like hardly anybody's talking about it. It's like that's a that's an awesome gun. It's used for law enforcement, whether it's military or private in 20 countries yeah, it's, I, I mean that tell that's your that tells you right there how amazing this well, this gun is I'm, I'm just surprised that there's just so few guys on on youtube for example reviewing the darn thing it's like you know you you get a canic and you everybody's got, got a you know there's 5500 reviews this thing not very many well, so I, i'm saying that's if you said canic beretta i'm going to beretta i think i think brett has been along for so long everybody's looking for the shiny new toy True. And and I'm guilty of that. I said, "Oh, Beretta, huh? Bet, you know that's an old school gun." I was, I, I mean, I've shot them. I like them. <laughs> I like Beretta. This gun is amazing, and I've liked every Beretta I shot. Yeah. Um, but this one, it, it's tried and true. I mean, yeah. this is a fantastic gun, and it may not be the new shiny company out there and getting all the attention, but I'll, I'll take longevity over I, shiny uh, and new yeah. sometimes. And Beretta and this, knows what they're doing. This gun is very accurate. I mean, again. I've got bad eyesight and from the distances we were shooting on at everything, you know, might not have been perfectly on target, but everything was center mass. Everything would have protected me and gotten me out of the situation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know you're going to put an optic on it. Yep. Correct. Correct. That's the only thing I would do to this gun. I mean, if you're going to do go optic, that's, that's where I'd end it right there. At a minimum, I'd change out the sights oh, sure. Oh, sure. with some dots, but, um, I'm, I'm I like just, it. I'd like to, I'd like to put a nice, uh, shake awake optic or, or shake away, shake awake reflex on that and use that as my primary carry.
nice. <laughs> it's nice. Just, that's just nice. It's, it's, I know they use that term butter, but I mean, it really it is. is. It's, that, it's, you know, and you, you can see the, now feel the, this is the Glock. Feel the difference in that. Super smooth, but heavier. But another awesome trigger. But <laughs> that is a little bit heavier, is it? but it won't be as heavy as the one I'm carrying right now. That, yeah, that one I assure you is loaded and that trigger is class. Yep. Well, and we haven't really done anything to it. And you know, this is the SAR 9. Feel that oh, one. Uh, I, that I, one's I, a I remember real this heavy one. trigger. This one is ridiculously, I don't like it. And this is the one we love now, Stoger. Again, very heavy, very long trigger. But just an all-around great gun. Feels good in the hand. I don't much care for it once she's once we start shooting it though. Yeah. And the Stoger, I love. Yeah. It's just I can't believe it. <laughs> but we I can't forget. believe we feel, love the Stoger. I know, and feel the That's trigger funny. on that again. That's it, funny. It's just it's so different. So these triggers all felt fantastic until you put them up against yeah. this Beretta's trigger, which you know I think back to even the SIGs we just reviewed. This trigger is probably my favorite so far. The gun, yeah. everything about the, it, it's just feels the, the M18, I, I'm like, <laughs> not, I have no interest. Yeah. Now that's 365. That's decent, a nice gun. decent trigger. Yeah. That with a little bit of work, that could have been a great trigger. This one right out of the box has got a, a fantastic trigger. If I get, get a little, do a little bit of work to this one, I can give yeah. you a fantastic trigger. Well, we, let's do a little work to that because I'd like a fantastic trigger. <laughs> this, this is still one of my go-tos. I absolutely love the 19X. It's, you can't go wrong I know. with it. Love the Stoger, but as of right now, I think the Beretta APX-1, A1, is my new favorite. Or ties. I want to go over there and play. I mean, come on. Man. I know. That dude, <laughs> I want to know where the elephants are. He's rocking and rolling, man. So I would definitely buy this. Would you buy? Yeah, Any, I would buy it. Anything outside of the site, the rear sights that you didn't like? Ah, no, nothing at all. Okay. The only thing I would change out if I wasn't going to do an optic is I, I'd change out the sights. But otherwise, I'd run that thing just as you see it. Yep. It's great. And it, like I said, comes um, optic ready. It has different back plates for you. So whatever your hand size is. The grip that you need you can change out it comes with three additional ones um it, it just it's, a lot just, of it fits real nice yeah I like a lot of gun. great things i didn't have to change it out this no. one was perfect fit which for is me. which is crazy both your your hand is much larger than mine and we yeah. both and like they it that way it both fits so perfect it's just way. it's a nicely thought through gun i know that it's something that it's, you're not seeing a lot of fanfare on that one but people really should look at that gun well and it's 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 light too for its size um, it's 28 ounces. Yeah. So, or 26 ounces. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I'm looking at it right now, profile wise, and the Stoger is much heavier, like, significantly yeah. heavier, which is seems yet, weird. Yet the Beretta has less felt recoil. Yeah. There, there's very little recoil on that. You can, um, you can do follow ups with that gun really well. Oh, I, yeah. really, I really like that gun. And the difference is like a Stoger I, in our re recent reviews. And if you haven't seen the Stoger review, definitely take a look at it. It's the kind of gun that you know with time you will come into it yep. with time and practice. It took a while. This gun, it feels like you're getting on target and consistently on target much quicker because there's less recoil. It's an easier trigger. It just, everything seems to be but, very conducive to good shooting. Well, it felt like and the, the learning curve out of the box was much shorter than say with the Stoger mm -hmm. or it was just, it was just like, boom, you're in it. Yeah. It was just a very short time, but half a magazine through, it felt like natural to me. Completely. Yeah. The trigger felt great. So absolutely. Uh, Beretta's doing it right. And if you get a chance to pick up one of those guns, Little guys, I would highly suggest you do it. That's yeah, a great gun. Absolutely, great I would gun. agree. So it's definitely a buy for the Beretta APX A1 full size. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And by the way, that logo right there, you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there, that one. Go ahead, click it.